Hi, Jerry. Hey, Jim. I forgot to ask you this after the game Saturday, but you hadn't played the previous Saturday. You did not get off the bench. Did that carry over in any way? Were you like really eager to get out there on uh, last week? I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, every time we step out at home, I think I'm I'm eager to play. I'm excited to play a home game. Uh, yeah, last game was last week. You know, wasn't an ideal result, but yeah, for me, I was able to to rest. My body felt really good. Um, you know, after going a bunch of games. Um, getting a rest that week felt felt really good, so I felt really fresh coming into the the next game week. So it might have helped. Brad thought you might have been a little angry. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, obviously you want to start, you want to play every game, but yeah, also have to realize where my body was at and uh, if I need a break or or what else. So mm -hmm. it was fine. What did the last week's game do for confidence? Kind of, a, it's an emphatic victory to have a game like that. Yeah, I mean. We've had some, some really good wins this year, so it kind of just adds on to what we've been building. Um, and yeah, to win by that many goals and in that fashion and comfortably, yeah, it, makes, it gives the whole team a, a lot of life and you know a lot of guys getting on the goal sheet, um, which helps uh, in, in many ways. So. But no, it just, it just builds on what we've been doing all year. Um, and whether we win or lose, it's just the most important thing was the performance, and I thought that that was really good, so that's what matters. Jim? Jared, traditionally, wing midfielders, do a, we do a ton of running. And so we've got City's style is to have those backs really do a lot of that too, really get an active involvement in the attack and do a lot of that. How does that accent or change the things that you're able to do as a wing midfielder? Um, I mean, I think in the system we play, you know, we're all required to, to defend a lot. Of, I think you look around the league, I mean, some other wingers are maybe they stay higher up the field, they take breaks. Um, but yeah, we, we come back, help you know help the back line. We don't want to concede. Um, we want to take care of any play we can defensively. So, I mean, that's always our number one goal is to keep a, a shutout. Uh, obviously, to win a game, you need a you need a shutout. You need to score more goals, but you need to concede less. Um, so yeah, just coming back into the game, and those are just big principles of our team. But but yeah, then when you get forward, and then when we keep the ball, it's it's nice when you know you reward yourself sometimes with, with goals and assists. So, a bit of both worlds. Speaking of goals, your first two on the road, first goal at home was this past Saturday. How did that compare to your first two? Yeah, it was it was a lot better. I mean, scoring in front of our fans is there's nothing that beats it. Obviously, scoring on the road and scoring against my former team is was was awesome. But nah, scoring in front of our fans was yeah it was something that I was kind of waiting for. I was taking a lot of shots in those first games, but uh, yeah, when it came off, it just it felt good. And then, but the the most important thing is we went on and, and scored four more and. Um, you know, to top it off with a win was, yeah, it was a perfect night. You bring a lot of physicality and intensity to your game. You know, there's images of you getting in the faces of other players. Is that something that, I mean, just happens spur of the moment? Is it something that you're thinking, okay, I need to, I need to change the flow of the game. I need to create a spark. I don't know. I think the, the core of that is growing up with three brothers. I mean, we always just played so aggressively against each other in the basement and outside. And, so I think that's just like when I step on the field, like the reason I love soccer is because I like, you know, I love to play. I love playing with my brothers in the backyard, whatever. So it's just kind of how I play. And then, yeah, I mean, when we step across the line, obviously we want to win. It's a competitive sport. Um, you know, our game model brings a lot of intensity, so it kind of fits, you know, the feistiness I have on the field. Um, my mom calls it like my red, you know, my red veil, you know, my, my anger. Uh, but yeah, then as soon as I step off the field, uh, I'm happy and if we win. And, but yeah, I think it's just my competitive spirit and, and growing up with brothers, just a rough house. Corey? Three games in seven days, is that an exciting prospect for a player? And just how do you think the depth will come in handy over this stretch? I think it's exciting, um, you know, especially with the Open Cup. We didn't have it for, you know, a couple of years with COVID, I think, right, two years. Um, and then last year with Austin, we bowed out early. I think we lost to, to San Antonio. So, you know, for me, it's, you know, I see Tuesday as, as an important game as well, right? We want to win. We want to win a cup. Um, it's our first tournament, right? It's knockout. You know, you win, and especially in front of our fans, we want to win that game. Um, but at the same time, you got to just take care of business, right? We have one game this weekend. That's all we can control. Um, but, yeah, we all have to know that we have a deep squad and we have a lot of guys who can step up and, yeah, having the confidence of that and seeing the other guys and seeing the squad we have, um, you know, just makes us excited. I don't think it'll drive us thin or anything. So it'll be, a, it'll be an exciting week. Hopefully three wins. Sorry. Jared, some games you have started on the right side. 
or games on the left side had even changed at halftime. Do you have a preference or doesn't really matter? I mean, yeah. I mean, I like, you know, I like coming in on, on the left side and, and cutting in and shooting. Um, but I also realized that I could play right wing back. Um, I could drop in closer to Jake um, and help change the formation in that way. So it kind of just depends on, on what Brad wants. But for me, as, as long as I'm out there, you know, I'm happy. And whatever I can do to help the team is, is the most important. But, um, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, there's, there's positives to both. But, yeah, I seem to have been scoring on the left. So hopefully, uh, yeah, stay out on the left. But we'll see. Tom. You mentioned playing with your brothers. How much is this group of guys just like playing with your brothers? Yeah, I mean, this, this group feels like family. Um, I think, you know, we, we got to spend a lot of time together in preseason. Um, you know, we had a lot of important talks with each other and, and really got to know each other. Um, and then, yeah, when you're out there fighting together um, week in, week out, um, yeah, they just they feel like, you know, family. And that's, you know, they're the closest family I have in St. Louis is, is these guys. So. Yeah, stepping out there every every week, it just feels like you know playing with my family. I want to win for my brothers, and then obviously for the fans and the whole entire you know club as as a whole. You know, it's more than just the team. There's the staff members and and uh, everything related. So we'll wrap up with Tom. I haven't counted how many other players on the team have lots of brothers, but <laughs> the the team leads the league in fouls committed, um, <laughs> and so I guess what does that say about the team style of play, and is that ultimately a good thing? I think that's a question for uh, Kyle and Tim back there. But, uh, no, I think, yeah, that's just the, the style we play is aggressive. Um, we want to be on the front foot. We want to win tackles. Sometimes if it's a 50-50 and I can pull out maybe um, or not try and win it, then I could do that. But the way we play, I'll go for it. And if I foul them, I foul them. And, uh, yeah, it just brings an intensity. And, uh, I mean, as you see with the stats, we win the ball high up the field sometimes. It turns into fouls. It turns in, you know, a little bit ugly. But I think it's entertaining for the fans and uh, for us, it's exciting. I mean, at least it, it fits my style, so um, I enjoy it and uh, the combativeness of it. So I think the other guys do too. So it just uh, it helps us. I think it helps us on the road too, playing this weekend. I mean, we can just get out there. You know, it's it's an away game, but we know that we're gonna be we're gonna be right up against them. They're not gonna have you know an away team that's gonna come in there and and just you know lose or, or take their foot off the gas. So we'll be excited. Jared, thank you for joining us. Thanks, guys.